Hi everyone, Joshua Hanlon here, and today I'm back out on the road exploring some of the incredible jeeping trails around Moab, Utah. Last year we made a video for you during our trip to Moab, kind of giving some general tips and tricks around Moab and off-road jeeping and sharing some of our experience with you. But this year I wanted to share a couple of our specific favorite trails that we would highly recommend for anyone of any level and experience with off-road jeeping and off-roading around the Moab area. These trails connect Moab to Canyonlands National Park, which is an incredible national park with some amazing hikes and really incredible stuff to see. So uh, you'll definitely want to visit that while you're in the Moab area, and these trails are perfect for getting there and coming back. The first trail is the one that you should take to get to Canyonlands, and that is the Pottish Road Schaefer Switchbacks. We've got our incredible book here again that shows a lot of these uh, jeeping trails, which we'll make sure to put a link to in the description below for you. So this trail is super cool for a number of reasons. It's not that difficult, so it's a great way to kind of introduce yourself into the world of kind of off-roading around Moab. You get to see a couple really neat things. One thing is the evaporation ponds towards the beginning of the trail here. These are very famous. This is where the uh, potash, which is where the name for the road comes from, is actually evaporated in these ponds above ground. Then as you keep driving, you get super close to the Colorado River and have an incredible overlook on the cliff side of the Colorado River as well. And these views are just stunning. You will not be disappointed at all. It's some of my favorite part of the trails when you get to look out over the Colorado River. As you keep going, you'll enter Canyonlands National Park, drive a little bit further, and you get to the Schaefer Switchbacks. The Switchbacks are one of the coolest parts of this whole route. As you go back and forth, you slowly rise out of the canyon and rise up much higher to the visitor center for Canyonlands National Park itself. As you're driving the switchbacks, you get incredible views of the whole trail that you've just driven, and it's a really, really fun experience. Once you arrive in Canyonlands, you of course have lots of incredible hikes that you can choose from, and you can spend a whole day exploring the park there. When you're ready to leave though and go back to Moab, I'd highly recommend the other trail I wanted to talk about, which is the Long Canyon Trail. So this actually starts just outside of Canyonlands National Park itself. It's actually on the road to uh, Dead Horse Point State Park, which is another really incredible spot that I would recommend visiting as well if you're in the area. But this trail uh, is a great way to get back from Canyonlands back to the Moab area because it takes you from the top of Canyonlands down into Long Canyon and back uh, to Moab. And the views are really amazing that whole route as well as you kind of drop down into the canyon, you get some really, really incredible views. A few unique things along here is a giant boulder that is leaning up against the side of the cliff there. You get to drive underneath that actually, which is super fun. You've also got the jug handle arch as well, which is a really great feature too. And it's just in general, a really great drive through the canyon as you head back towards Moab. So those two trails are really fantastic. Neither of them are too difficult. There's just a little bit of kind of bumpiness along the way, enough to kind of jostle you and give you a nice taste of what you can do here in the Moab area, while also allowing you to see some incredible views and do some incredible hikes around the Canyonlands area. Once again, we'll make sure to have a link to this book in the description. It's a really, really amazing must-have book if you're out here off-roading, doing any kind of jeeping or anything in the Moab area. We'll also have a link to our video from last year in Moab where we gave some tips and some more thoughts on our jeeping experience as well. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy your trip to Moab.